What I'd like to do now is diagram for you the response group architecture as a way of helping describe how this, uh, this feature really works. So a response group is a group of agents, as we call them, and you know, call them representatives, let's say it's a call center, uh, whatever it might be, whatever the purpose might be, it's a group of designated extensions or people uh, that can handle an incoming call. So we assign one extension, let's say it's an 800 number, and they dial that number and they reach the group. Now the group, when we reached a certain point uh, in this architecture, we'll, we can either ring all of their handsets or we can ring one at a time. Uh, whatever it might be, but it's a group of people who can each respond to that one dialed extension. So, as we look at it here, if this is the PSTN and I've given someone an 800 number and they're dialing in to a particular extension, they're going to reach our front end server, they're going to reach the link environment, and they're going to re reach the response group application. So the response group app is an application running on the front end server that handles all of this. Now, what it's running are workflows. So the workflow is something that we have to define. So let's go here and say that we've got a workflow and the initial call comes in and maybe the initial part of the workflow is to play a greeting, an automated greeting. Now, it doesn't have to do that. You may just want it to go straight through and start ringing everybody's handset and let them pick up. But let's say instead it pulls in and it reaches a greeting. And there's certain information that they enter and maybe we even give them certain choices. So press 1 to go this way, press 2 to go this way, and so on. Now each of these could actually point to... Thank you for viewing our short demo video. For more information on K-Alliance's e-learning videos, please visit us at www.kalliance.com or call us at our U.S. toll-free number 1-800-330-9111.